Hi there again. Uh, well, it's Rose here in Tita Mila's garden and I would like to take another shot of this uh, garden I have here. This is inside my greenhouse now. Um, what I have here is uh, a tomatoes. I'm going to show you. This is uh, cherry tomatoes. Well, uh, this year again uh, my previous video that I uh, took uh, I think that was this morning or yes I think that was yes, today this morning I can't even remember now um, I planted tomatoes last year and it was doing really well and then in the middle like somewhere in August it died the late blight got to it and uh, killed my uh, pl my tomatoes so right now I'm putting them inside the greenhouse and I'm doing it differently this time I'm using a hydroponics uh, solution so I have the nutrients inside this garbage uh, can here you see it's just garbage can and I put the uh, styrofoam you know this insulation styrofoam I put them in here and I made a uh, little hole you know I cut you know, the little slot right here so that I can put the solution in there uh, when uh, it's time so uh, right now there's a solution in there's water uh, and the hydroponic uh, uh, solution or fertilizer is actually organic so hopefully it will uh, do good now I have my cherry tomatoes on this I have right now it's a mess because I'm not really ready to uh, take a video but you know what today is a good day for me because I have time so just forgive some of the mess I have left down there so it's from there to the corner to here so I have about one two three four five six seven eight uh, cherry tomatoes that's growing in this uh, uh, two gallon I think this is a two gallon uh, garbage can that I bought from a dollar store and so you know and I want to show you what it's looked like in there I just put this in about mm, a week ago and look there's roots coming out of the uh, the plant already look at that so um, I have a net pot see that and I have a perlite I'm using perlite to hold the plants inside this net pot so we'll see um, this is my experiment this year and I'm gonna give uh, keep you updated uh, what's the result of it later on so of course uh, besides the nutrients that I put in there I put the um, it's what you call uh, I'm gonna show you later the brand of this uh, hydroponic solution I'm putting in here and right now this seems they're happy of course I put the hydroponics nutrients in there and at the same time I add uh, uh, Epsom salt in there in that two gallon I would say two tablespoon of uh, Epsom salt in there with a two gallon of uh, water and the water of course I uh, let it set in a big garbage can because I have plenty here of uh, water that I need to use for this plant uh, tomatoes because I have about eight of them and of course I'm gonna I use some more of that with the uh, I'm gonna try it on the peppers also so um so I would say uh, two taste two tablespoon of Epsom salt uh, for uh, two gallons of water and uh, the solution from hydroponic that I use is like about uh, uh, two teaspoons it's each gallon you have to put a teaspoon so and you have I think you have to put this solution uh, twice a month uh, two teaspoons in there twice a month so in other words in a month you have to put about yeah four teaspoons of that hydroponic nutrients there and I'm gonna show you the name of that later on um, so anyway so this is I'm just gonna take a video and keep you updated later on what's the result of this and of course I'm going to um, what do you call that I'm going to put the um, hmm I'm going to spray this once a week with either uh, uh, what do you call this uh, peroxide that mixed with a gallon of water I would say 
two tablespoons of peroxide in one gallon of water and you spray it to to stop the blight to prevent from uh, disease blight so anyway we'll see what's the result of this you see you can I think uh, according to Bobby the one uh, I think it's M A M M H P gardener on YouTube he um, it seems like it's not working properly when it comes to just hydroponic alone because usually uh, you need to add something to it to make it balanced because it seems his tomato uh, his oh I would say her green or lettuce did not really come out the way he expected it to so I'm trying it on the tomatoes because I don't see him trying it on the tomatoes right now uh, just uh, a garbage can alone without the um, I would say without the uh, what do you call that this uh, hmm, you, what do you use for the uh, for the hydroponic thing you know to make the uh, water uh, uh, circulate oh the pump the pump so I'm gonna try it without it otherwise if it's not gonna do good I'm gonna put the uh, air stone in there one by one because I have a hole already in here so what I so I'm just gonna put the air stone inside it and let it run maybe um, uh, maybe three times a day you know for 30 minutes at a time you know so we'll see otherwise I'm just gonna leave it as it is and see what's gonna happen so I'm gonna keep you updated updated later on and um, and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna see what's the result of this this is just an experiment right now so the same thing over there and uh, they're doing really good actually you see see the roots oh my goodness two weeks ago I mean a week ago look at that cut the roots cut coming out of it oh, oh I don't want to destroy the roots oh, oh. I don't want to damage the roots down there okay I'm not gonna take it out again <laughs> anyway wow I that's pretty amazing so he's it seems it's working it's out and it's happy I'm not sure about the fruit though I think uh, I will give it about a week also if the fruit is gonna start coming up because it's still pretty um, early this is May uh, this plants is too early so um, I'm gonna give it about a week if they're gonna start fruiting and you know it's still little so I'm gonna give you update with that, updated later on with that and of course I have also over here now this one is a combination of hydroponic system and um, what do you call that soil now in the soil and in the hydroponic solution I added the Epsom salt in the soil and in the uh, in the solution itself what I did was I have a wick underneath there see what I did is I have a cloth inside it I cut the uh, the, the socks cotton socks and I have the um, a jar there with the solution you know just to to let the solution uh, get to the the plants and I will see uh, it's like a wick see that and I have cloth inside I spread it out in the bottom of this uh, pot. Uh, let's see here, the stand. Okay, it, there's a cloth besides of the cloth that is waking the the solution in that jar. I um, actually uh, put a cloth inside this. I'm gonna show you that to you later, so that it will soak the uh, water and keep the soil moist. So I don't know, I will see what's gonna be the result of this later on. This is again an experiment this year and this is inside the greenhouse because um, I'm gonna contain it from those blights. At the same time, I'm going to spray this with the, solu the peroxide solution, you know, and uh, to prevent the uh, blossom rot, I'm going to um, um, put a copper wire you know electric wire which is the copper uh, I will cut that in like three inches and instead of spraying copper on this plant I'm gonna stick it about a half inch from the soil and but right now it's too small it has to be at least like a pencil size for the uh, stem for the uh, copper wire to go through so it's too small so I'm gonna wait maybe um, I would say a month give it a month 
like until the uh, the stem uh, become bigger like a pencil size and then you s you uh, take stick the uh, co copper uh, wire in there like about three inches so I'm gonna show you what to do with that you know next time and I'm gonna experiment like that so that it will prevent it from uh, blossom rot because I noticed in uh, the hog farm that we joined long time ago uh, a few years back they, they do uh, kind of spray the, the powder on top of these tomatoes and it was copper powder copper uh, copper um, it, I don't think it's a good idea and then you have to take these tomatoes home and you have to wash them you can't even eat it right there so that means uh, I don't call it organic the farm is organic they say but to tell me to, to to wash the tomatoes and come home first and wash them when you before you eat them uh, something is not right so I don't know I'm kind of leery about that but uh, but I'm gonna try this method and if it works and then I'm gonna let you know and um, we'll see what's gonna happen so anyway so that's my tomatoes in the garden uh, today actually if I can do it I'm going to put the peppers here I'm going to uh, I know it's gonna be crowded here but I think it's gonna work so I'm gonna alternate them so again here's my tomatoes right there they're all good in here these are beef steak you see that uh, that's what I think bitter boy bitter boy yep that's bitter boy right there tomatoes so and these are my cherry tomatoes and believe it or not I planted this uh, in March in my uh, basement and this is cherry tomatoes so it's flowering already my I would say March 15 um, April 15 this is May so this is this is two months old now so look it's already flowering so we'll see we'll see the result of this one all right okay so anyway that's my update right now with my little greenhouse what's in here and i'm gonna give you another uh, segment later on uh, when i added some more in here so i'm gonna put the tomato the uh, peppers next to these uh, big ones here but uh, i know it's gonna be crowded but you know what i don't think it's gonna be a problem because they are on their individual spot so I'm gonna see I'm gonna experiment because I really wanna uh, use the space as much as possible so I'm gonna give it a try and if it's not gonna work the next year I'm gonna change it all right so bye for now and I'm, I'm gonna see you again all right until then keep your body healthy and join me in the garden uh, it's Rose uh, speaking and uh, I will see you soon. Bye for now.